Atrium Innovations is a global leader in health and nutrition. We support our brands in the development of innovative, science-based ingredients and products through our own applied clinical research program, as well as through third-party, investigator-initiated research at top universities worldwide. It gives us an opportunity to really interact with leaders in their fields around the world. And that really does result in a lot of publications and a lot of new ideas, new science. In 2011, we launched our most comprehensive research program to date, focusing on cardiometabolic health or nutritional strategies for metabolic syndrome. We did this in partnership with a strategic academic partner, the Institute of Nutrition and Functional Foods, or INAP, located at Laval University in beautiful Quebec City. INAP is a, an institute on nutrition and functional food and it groups uh, 85 researchers and more than 350 uh, students yeah, studying the link between food, food components, nutrition and health. There are very good nutrition institutes in many places in the world, but very few actually have this collaboration, which is not even additive, it's synergistic collaboration between people working in the food chemistry, in nutrition and the medical science. And I think this collaboration is very unique at INAF, and I think that explains our success. This relationship with INAF has given us access to top researchers in their fields. For researchers, it is, it is a really rich collaboration because uh, uh, we, we know that the, the results will have a real impact, not stay in textbook or in publications, but have real impact. Identified that we wanted to work in the area of cardiometabolic health, and there is key expertise at INAP on that topic. We work on different types of food or nutrients. Uh, polyphenols is one example. We look at fat, trans fat, saturated fat, all in the context of this metabolic uh, problems, metabolic disorders associated with metabolic syndrome, obesity. What's really interesting about metabolic syndrome is that we know that these risk factors are, are modifiable by lifestyle and nutritional interventions. This is already known. So it wasn't a, a far-fetched idea that we could invest and really make a difference and contribute to the state of the science in this area. It's interesting to look at that and, and try to prevent or, or modify the, the, the profile of, uh, of the metabolic syndrome through diet because you can change several risk factors at the same time. Until recently, we did not realize that inflammation was so central to playing a role into maintaining cardiometabolic health. So understanding how inflammation triggers metabolic syndrome and understanding how nutrients like polyphenols can modulate inflammatory molecules is very important. People don't realize that uh, every time we eat, something happens in our body. And actually even like cholesterol goes up, triglycerides go up, and so we know about that, but we're realizing now that even inflammation goes up. In our research program, we're focusing on three major buckets, polyphenols, with a particular emphasis on small fruits like berries, fish oil and their role in cardiometabolic health, as well as systemic enzymes. We knew that uh, polyphenols could be useful in, in helping having a better um, vascular function, better, better blood vessels in other words. So we went through uh, that uh, thinking and, and tested the effect of cranberries on, on blood vessel health in athletes and it turned out to be uh, working quite well. Systemic enzymes are an ongoing part of our commitment to research. While there's a lot of research on systemic enzymes in mobility and joint health, what hasn't really been studied is the role of, of systemic enzymes in metabolic syndrome or the, the promotion of cardiometabolic health. We're looking really at a, a specific population of obesity with subclinical inflammation and to see whether systemic enzyme supplementation can attenuate the, the inflammation in these patients. Another area of emphasis for us is fish oil research. We're very interested in the role of fish oil in cardiometabolic health and some of the first work we've done is really just looking at fish oil supplementation in healthy individuals and how we can improve omega-3 status. So as part of our uh, research on omega-3s, we're looking at uh, how people respond to it. Uh, you know, can we identify genes that predict whether you respond or not to a specific nutrient, like omega-3, for example. So this personalized nutrition, what we call between scientists, nutrigenomics aspect, or even nutrigenetics, are quite important. 
Atrium has a, a long history, a rich history in research and science. We really take the responsibility seriously in terms of making sure that there's substantiation for the safety and the clinical efficacy of the products we make. This is exciting for a researcher from academia to have the opportunity to be working with a company like this with whom we know the results will be translated as rapidly as possible for the health of the population.